Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, well, oh, well. So, can you quickly introduce yourself? Um, sure, I'm, I'm Brendan. I'm a solutions architect at Mesosphere. Uh, before that, I was at Airbnb where I built and operated the data infrastructure there. Cool. Uh, I was the first external core committer to the Mesos project, and I've contributed to a bunch of different Mesos frameworks and services. Cool, thank you. What, what's the topic you want to talk about? Uh, I'd like to talk about Zookeeper. Ah, very good. Uh, so Zookeeper is, uh, today has, has kind of become the, the single point of failure in a lot of uh, big distributed systems. And uh, I want to give a, a little tip, which is how to mitigate disaster with regard to Zookeeper. Um, so a few, a few signs that you might have trouble with Zookeeper is when you have one installation of Zookeeper and uh, everything in your your system, your infrastructure is talking to one particular instance of Zookeeper. So <clears throat> there's a few things you can do here. One is you can use Zookeeper less. Um, stop making it the point of your, or the, the, the focal point of your service discovery and what other system, whatever yeah. other systems you happen to have. Uh, another thing you can do is kind of do the equivalent of um, uh, you know, kind of like with databases, how you shard. In the case of Zoo Zookeeper, you can logically partition uh, clusters. So you can have, you can go as far as to have one Zookeeper cluster per service, or you can break it down by types of services. So you, you can have a Zookeeper cluster for user services, and you can have a Zookeeper cluster for core operational things. Uh, and then maybe another cluster for um, application-specific things. For example, um, another thing with Zookeeper is a lot of people don't have proper monitoring and um, operational tools in place. So, Exhibitor, for example, if you haven't heard of it, is a project from Netflix that provides a lot of important operational features for Zookeeper. Uh, if you're not running Zookeeper with Exhibitor, you should investigate it. Um, another thing is to make sure that you're actually monitoring and alerting on important Zookeeper met metrics, such as uh, you know how long it takes to write something to Zookeeper, how long it takes to read something from Zookeeper, um, is the cluster healthy? Uh, another thing is you should probably run more than three nodes. I recommend five Zookeeper um, or a, a Zookeeper cluster size of five for production, uh, as three is not really fault tolerant. Uh, anything else? Cool. Well, thank you very much. Okay. No problem.